Korea's Fast Fashion Emporium Forever 21 has found a new owner in just four months after it filed for bankruptcy. The retail brand is to sell most of its business for $81 million to a consortium made up of mall operators Simon Property Group, Brookfield Property Partners, and brand management firm Authentic Brands Group. Forever 21 had filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, a chapter that requires the debtor to propose a plan of reorganization to keep its business alive and pay creditors over time last September. In a Sunday court filing, the international chain finally announced its plans to sell its business to a group of buyers that included two of its biggest landlords, Brookfield Property Partners and Simon Property Group. The sales are to include all of Forever 21's assets, including its remaining stores and beauty line, Riley Rose. However, the consortium has been designated as the stocking horse bidder, referring to how the starting price for Forever 21 will stick to a bankruptcy auction and the deal is still subject to approval by a judge. Other potential buyers have until February 7th to place bids for the company. Forever 21 one originally named Fashion 21 was started by a Korean immigrant couple in 1984. The retailer rapidly gained popularity in fashion, malls, and big expensive physical stores. Within a year, the fast fashion seller had revenue of $700,000. In 30 years, the couple was worth nearly $6 billion, according to Forbes. However, due to the rise of online shopping that has decreased the amount of physical shoppers to malls, Forever 21 financially stifled with high debt levels and rent costs. According to Bloomberg, the company had over $1 billion to $10 billion worth of debt. In September of 2019, Executive Vice President for the company, Linda Chang, referred to the filing for the Chapter 11 bankruptcy as an important and necessary necessary step to secure the future of Forever 21. The company had planned to close most of its stores in Asia and Europe. At the time, Forever 21 said it would exit Japan and close all 14 stores by the end of October. The company had also revealed that its Canadian subsidiary filed for bankruptcy and was planning to wind down the business, closing 44 stores in the country. Forever 21 used to be a popular retail brand with over 549 stores in the U.S., including a huge store near the White House in Washington, D.C., and 251 stores in other countries, including Canada and Japan. As of now, Forever 21 has said in a statement that once the company is sold to a new owner, it will be able to come out of bankruptcy and keep its headquarters, stores, and e-commerce operations open.